What's up everybody, it's James again, and I'm here with a quick, raw, very unedited tutorial here. Um, I ran into this issue last night, and I figured I'd make a video about it, because uh, I had to do a little bit of research, and the solution's really easy once I found the right tools to do it. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pull the Xbox data for like the game data out of a very clean, very bite by bite copy rip of an Xbox game disc for the original Xbox. So uh, this may come handy if you have a, um, you know, a game that you have created a full backup of the full disc and all of its partitions. And to oversimplify it, pretty much when you like FTP a game over to your Xbox or you rip a game from your Xbox, you usually just have the game data. However, on an Xbox game disc specifically, uh, there are more than one partition. The first partition is usually the DVD video partition, which contains that video that says like, you know, this is an Xbox game disc, uh, that it'll play if you pop an Xbox game disc into a, uh, into a DVD player or a, another system that has DVD functionality, like a, a PS2 for instance. Uh, and then the second partition usually has the game data. So, however, the way the file system of the disc is set up, uh, you may run into this issue. So I have a byte by byte copy of the Japanese version of Halo, uh, which I do own. And this ISO has both the DVD partition as well as the game data partition. So I wanted to rip it and, uh, you know, throw it on my Xbox, like, in just file format. So like just the game data in a folder so that Unleash X will just, you know, show the game in its game list instead of throwing an ISO on there. Now, you can probably burn this ISO and be okay, but I personally don't like using discs on my Xbox anymore unless I'm like ripping one of my game discs just because these systems are getting old, you know? So when I was trying to figure out how to rip the files out of it, I ran into a problem. And that problem was uh, I usually use C Xbox tool or uh, worst case scenario, I'll load the ISO into a virtual drive like daemon tools and just use Windows Explorer or you know if I'm using Linux whatever user shell GUI whatever you want to call it I'm using in Linux to just copy the files out so see Xbox tool will say hey it's not a valid X ISO file fine good enough fair enough so I'm gonna close this and if I load it into a virtual drive you'll see here that we only get the DVD partition and this video here is the video that you would see when um, you load this game disc. So, how do you actually extract the game data? Well, there is a little program called Extract X ISO. Uh, I'll link to it in the description. And the way it works is uh, this program is smart enough to know, uh, you know, the uh, the different partitions of an Xbox image. So to, and it is a command line tool. There might be a GUI version of it out there somewhere. Uh, however, I just use the command line for it because it's, it's simple. I'm on Windows 10 and for me, I, I just right click and I open a PowerShell window. Now you can either use PowerShell to run this or you can drop down into a command shell. Uh, I'll just do it from the command shell. So if you do extract xiso.exe by itself, it'll show you the different, um, you know, different modes you can use it in. You can list the files, you can extract files, and uh, so let's go ahead and list the files, right? So you remember when I loaded it in the Daemon Tools, um, you know, it's my virtual drive. It just showed me the uh, the data layer, or sorry, the DVD video partition. However, if we do a minus L for Halo Japan you'll see here that it can see all the files. So the command to extract it would just be, you know, extract dash I X ISO dot exe space minus X and then the name of the ISO. And we hit enter and it extracts the game data. So we just wait for this to finish. It's usually pretty quick. You know, I guess it really depends on how fast your computer is, but any modern computer can do this pretty quickly. So yeah, so there you go. Uh, that was a, uh, you know, an eight gigabyte file. Although that, I don't know if that's truly, I don't really think that's the true file size, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, we have the files. If we open up the folder that we extracted it to, they're all right here. So yeah, it's as easy as that. And then you just, you know, FTP these files over, whatever you want to do with them. 
So yeah, I ran into that issue and I was scratching my head about it. You know, I was on like a, I was just kind of cruising forums and someone had mentioned that this specific program can actually read the data uh, partition. So yeah, it seems to work fine, which is great. I did copy this over to my Xbox hard drive and it boots fine. So it seems like the files don't get corrupted during the extraction or anything like that. And that's how you do it. So yeah, I hope this helps someone out there. It's a very niche uh, tutorial to need because most of the time you're just gonna have the game data. But if in the case you got a clean rip, that's how you pull the data out of it. So anyway, be sure to favorite, comment, subscribe, whatever the algorithm needs, whatever, or don't, I don't really care to be honest. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.